Hi, welcome back to another unboxing video. And of course, we are doing an unplugged unboxing today. This is the August Unplugged Adult Fiction Box. There is a young adult fiction um, option as well. Uh, I'm just gonna link them in the description, so if you wanna check them out, go ahead. But they're focused on being not only a book subscription box, but also a self-care box. So there's always some really nice goodies that come along with it. And they support small businesses, typically bookish businesses, and usually women-owned as well. I will say this box is actually quite like, it's got like a bump on it. <laughs> like it's very full. Okay, and here we are when we open it to the, today. This month's theme for the adult fiction box was come as you are. And I have to say the art on this is beautiful. So all the spoilers are on the back and I will check those out at the end. Okay, so there is a smaller box inside of the box. Oh, ow. How do I open this thing? I got it. Okay, this little box was really tight. But I have successfully opened it. Is this a jar? Okay, so we get a Alice in Wonderland jar. So you've got the rabbit and Alice. I have to move out. You have the rabbit and Alice. And then on the back it says, drink me. And we have a coffee. Central Perk Cold Brew Coffee. Uh, I believe this is made by Fair Dinkum Coffee Co. And that's it. Okay, next is this, which <clears throat> I feel like it's a measuring spoon, but it also has a clip. And it says coffee and friends. So a lot of uh, friends, um, fandom stuff. Yeah, I'll find out what this is at the end. La so it's kind of nice because they also gave us a lemon squeezer in the last box. And it feels like this is probably from the same people, so we'll see. Ooh, there is an enamel pin made by Alyssa's World. I burn for you. I don't know what fandom that's from, but we'll find out in the spoiler card. It looks pretty though. Okay, then we have this like see-through bookmark. It's actually quite nice and it says, all that is gold does not glitter. Not all those who wander are lost. The old that is strong does not wither. Deep roots are not reached by the frost. J.R.R. Tolkien. Oh, so there's another Lord of the Rings fandom item. Next we have this. Not sure what it is. Ooh, okay. All I notice is that it says Shiala or whatever, however you pronounce that. I believe that that's from Black Sun. And this is from Shapothecary Products Facial Elixir. Grapefruit and pumpkin extract, stone crop oil, moon water, comfy, comfrey leaf, lavender diluted isopropyl. I have no idea what that is. Oh. I can smell it a little bit. There's a cover on it, but I can smell it a little bit. It smells really good. I like that. I mean, you can tell that this is handmade because there's actually stuff in it. Okay, then we get a Beach Read Lip Balm. So, Beach Read Fandom Lip Balm. It is coconut and lemongrass. I don't want to open it because there is a seal on it, but... I love when they send lip balms because I I have very easily chapped lips, so these come in handy. <laughs> okay, and before I get to the book, I am going to look through the cards. Um, we do have a author signed book plate, which I love to put these in the book. And then author's letter, I believe. 
Yes. And it already said what the book was. I already knew what the book was, but they did say that we got an exclusive cover. So I'm interested to see that. And then next month, wait, here it says coming soon, Unplugged Book Box Limited Edition Horror Box. Ooh, okay, so there's going to be a horror box coming soon. And next month, the adult fiction um, theme is Rise from the Ashes, and the young adult theme is Finding Your Strength. So now let's look at the book. I'm excited to see how the cover is different because I've seen. I've seen two different covers of this book. Oh. Okay. I don't know how I feel about this cover, but yes, the book is She Who Became the Sun, and this is the exclusive cover that Unplugged Books Book Box got. It's a lot darker than the two other covers of the book which I kind of like. Although it looks like there's like hands, like shadow hands. And then the back has this sort of strange humanoid tree almost. Like it looks like it's got legs and arms. <laughs> I've heard a lot of good things about this book. So I'll read the summary in case you didn't know. If you want to skip ahead, go ahead. In a famine-stricken village on a dusty yellow plain, two children are given two fates, a boy, greatness, a girl, nothingness. In 1345, China lies under harsh Mongol rule. For the starving peasants of the central plains, greatness is something found only in stories. When the Zhu's family eighth-born son, Zhu Chongba, is given a fate of greatness, everyone is mystified as to how it will come to pass. C-E? Fate of nothingness? I think that might be a typo. Received by the family's clever and capable second daughter, on the other hand, is only as expected. When a bandit attacked, when a bandit attack orphans, I feel like there are a lot of typos in this. When a bandit attack orphans the two, ch the two children, though, it is Zhu Chongba who succumbs to despair and dies. Oh, shit. Desperate to escape her own fate, fated death, the girl uses her brother's identity to enter a monastery as a young male novice. C. Air? Is that her actual name? C. It's so weird. Like right there above my finger, it's just C. E R E, like I don't. <laughs> uh, all right. Propelled by her burning desire to survive, Zhu learns she is capable of doing whatever it takes, no matter how callous, to s to stay hidden from her fate. Uh, see, er, whatever. Her sanctuary is destroyed for supporting the rebellion against Mongol rule. Zhu takes the chance to claim another future. Altogether, her brother's abandoned greatness. That is she who became the sun. And underneath is just hard. Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay, so. <clears throat> so we got a fancy dust jacket exclusive to Unplugged Book Box, but I guess that if you don't like it, you can just put the original back on. So that's interesting. I honestly, personally, I like this a lot better than I like this. I don't know. What do you think? Left or right? <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to leave this one on it for now. But yeah, if I were to choose, I would pick the original one. Okay, let's take a look at the spoiler card and, miss and make sure nothing's missing. Uh, we have the Beach Read Lip Balm, yes. Oh, Bridgerton Enamel Pin, that's what that is. Alice in Wonderland Glass. So it really is just a jar. Okay. I just want to make sure. Uh, Friends Cold Brew Coffee, Friends Coffee Scoop. Oh, it's a coffee scoop. I'm, a, I'm guessing it's just like, this is like one tablespoon or something. Maybe. Black Sun Facial Elixir. I was right. 
Lord of the Rings bookmark, and then she who became the sun and exclusive dust jacket. I need to sneeze. Hey! <coughs> Sorry. Okay, ultimately, I really do like this box. I'm not a huge coffee drinker anymore. I did like buy a whole bunch of coffee stuff for a while, but I really prefer tea, although I am very happy to have it, no matter what. The jar is really cool. I could always use jars. I have jars all over this house. Um, the facial treatment thing, is that what it is? The facial elixir smells delicious and I love black sun. And then She Who Became the Sun, I'm actually really happy that we got this this month um, because I do want to read it at some point. Although the exclusive dust jacket, I don't think it's bad, I'm just not a huge fan of it. And yeah, everything was really cool. I'm excited for the next box. So if you like this video, go ahead, like, subscribe, comment, all that fun jazz. And if you are still around, please tell me down in the description, what is your favorite flower? It could be a deadly one too. I'm more than happy to know. And with that, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.